Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are a subscriber, then welcome back. If you have not subscribed, then please consider subscribing. Today I'm going to cut up my next project. It is my number 76. I'm not gonna be able to get this fully in. I'm waiting on a new camera stand to come in, so I do apologize in advance for the lack of quality in video here, but I wanted to get this kitted up. So it's just my heart-shaped cloud with a man or a person in a boat on, a, I guess, a lake. So I'm going to go ahead and kit that up. As before, um, you know, I, I asked the question if you prefer watching the full kidding up or if you like time lapses or and I only really had one person comment saying that they liked to view the whole kidding up process so I think I'm gonna go ahead and show the whole process if I'm not talking um, then I'll just put in some music uh, so I'm not just bored with that and not even hearing anything so on my last painting I'm with the containers I went ahead and put the my sticker on top of some painters tape so it just comes off a lot easier on the container it doesn't leave a residue I also got new storage containers in the other day and I'm excited to try them out. They are, so it's 28 and it's very similar to the ones that are connected. However, these are separated and they're, they're a decent size. So we'll get to see how many fit in here and the flip top is, it's a good flip top. Um, I don't see having any issues with this. The reason I'm trying this out, I do have Harbor Freight and I do like Harbor Freight. It's probably one of my favorite to use. For this painting it would be fine because there's 24 colors and the Harbor Freight holds 24. But the thing I noticed with the Harbor Freights is the drills want to stay around the lid. and it's not that big of a deal. I just kind of tap around the bottle, the bottom part of it and they kind of fall and it's fine. But I wanted to give these a shot. I did think, I didn't read the description on Amazon very well. They had, I have three of them and they had them to where it looked like, you know, is a big one. So they were all in one container, but there are three different containers of 28. Um, so I'm probably going to end up buying just one big container to hold all of the drills if I need something bigger. For this one, again, it's not a big deal. I only have 24 colors. It'll fit in this just fine. But I do have a lot of paintings that are like 35 or 40 colors. And I don't want to lug around two different containers to fit those. So, anyhow. I wonder. I don't think a pen will fit in there. So this was number 76 in my inventory. Video the other day. I believe it was four kids at 147. Um... She had containers that resembled in the world um, the 28 that are stuck together. They were a lot larger and they also came apart. They connected and they came apart. So I thought about getting a set of those for like if I had a painting that was 35, I can connect however many extra I need for a kit like this and use that alongside or I don't know. 
Uh, it was an interesting little kit, so I don't know if I'll buy it right now. I have so much storage that I just don't even necessarily need anymore. But we'll see. Part of the addiction, right? Buying all the accessories. However, I do prefer purchasing diamond paintings. Okay, let's get out of there. So this, I believe, would fit two pack two of big size packages. Um, I don't think I have two color two bags for one color, but let's see. Might have one that was a little bit more full, but they do fit quite a bit, so that's good. I shouldn't have put the sticker on my table. It peeled off part of the finish. My table is ancient. Um, so I don't care about the finish peeling off, but my tape is not as sticky as it should be. So. What is everybody else working on? Let me know what you're working on, or if you're doing an event, or if you know of an event coming up other than the butterfly. I don't know the full name of it. Um, I know it's Nicole with Bella Art de Nicole that's hosting it with also Lindsay Simmons, I believe is also hosting it. So, uh oh, I put that one on backwards. I love butterflies, so of course I'm going to do that event. Um, it's really the only event that I'm aware of that I'll be participating in. So, I don't think it'll fit too, because that one was more full. And, I mean, it wouldn't fit a full two packages. But it does fit more than those other ones. Uh, some of those you can't even get a full package in if they're full, full, full. You have to tape it up and either use the leftovers first or refill it when you're out, however you choose to do that. But I like that also with this, um, it would be a lot easier if you just needed one drill, say you forgot one, you could easily stick your pin in and grab it. You can stick your pin in the little connected ones. It's just so small, it's, it's kind of like fighting over helping. Might as well pour it out, but these you can definitely Stick your pin in there and grab it. I plan to work on this one on my light table because it is just a little bit bigger than what I would want to do on my lap. And my other half is attempting to do a diamond painting and he's using our A3 light pad and my lap easel. So, I think I'll just work on this one on my light table and move my big one off for a while and work on something different. I did a progress video of my big one. I'll have to get that loaded. I videoed that yesterday. Um, so y'all can see the progress of my big project that drives me insane. There's not too many blacks in this one. I'm not seeing much trash with pouring, so that's good. While I don't think I can fit a pin in here, I do I could store my wax that I'm using. I could keep it with the container. Um, 
whatever. Cover minder, whatever. I just wouldn't be able to store my pen in it and use it as a on-the-go container with 24 colors. This one's decent size. And I will put a link in the comments, or I'm sorry, I'll put a link in the description for these containers. I think that I saw it where you could just buy one single container of the 28 and then you had they had other options as well for 84 um, I'll put both of those in the description link I will link both of those in the description see if I can get my words out right so if you think you want to give them a try I really think they're gonna work out really nicely I'm sorry, the kitty is playing with my stand. Hey. She's rubbing up against it and making it move. Okay, so that was a pretty full bag. And I am... I wouldn't want to put any more. So, for future reference, these will only fit one of these pill packet bags. And I cannot remember how many are in these. I think it's a thousand, maybe two thousand. I'm not a hundred percent sure. My canvas has DMC codes, which is I'm thankful because the bags did not. So I will be able to store these as leftovers. What else to talk about? There's a possibility I will be going back to work. I find out tomorrow if I got the job or not. It'll be a bittersweet moment. Of course, it's nice to have a job, but I won't be able to do as much diamond painting once I have a job. But again, job is necessary. Diamond painting is a hobby. Gotta have the money to keep the hobby going. So I should hopefully find out tomorrow if I got the job. The place is great. Um, it would be an ideal place. They are very comfortable there and wouldn't have to dress up. I don't like dressing up. I like dressing up to go out sometimes, but I don't want to dress up to go to work and have to sit in the office for eight hours a day. Y'all, I had to dress up for my last job. It's just uncomfortable. They were, <laughs> they were wearing leggings and t-shirts and had a, ja a light jacket on whenever I went for my interview. So I thought, oh, this is perfect for me. That's what I've been living in for four months. Leggings. I've been living in pajama bottoms also, but for the most part, I have leggings. So, and it was only a 20 minute drive. Which is nice. My last job took me about an hour to get there and home because of traffic. There's hardly any traffic going to this place, so that was nice. Uh-oh. This was the same number. I did have two bags of 14. They were not very full, so I did not think it was the same color. But see how I did not get both of those in there. Let's see. I'm going to leave those here. Probably don't even need them. So, anyways, next time I'm live, I'll be able to tell you if I got the job or not.
which hopefully doesn't mean a whole lot in the aspect of doing videos and stuff. I'll still be able to do videos after work or on the weekends or whatnot. Um, so I'll still be able to continue with that. I just won't have a whole lot of time to actually finish diamond painting this, but it'll all work out one way or the other. Because who wouldn't love to just sit around and diamond paint all day, every day? I know I would. Don't have the luxury of being retired yet. So, one day. One day. Get there. Well, I'm going to probably finish the rest of this up in silence. And I will put some music on for you so you can listen to that. Because I don't really have a whole lot left to say. Um, Another thing that I'm working on, I finally got some bags in. I've decided how I'm going to do my um, oh, storing my leftovers. I think again, I was it was one of the videos from Four Kids at One Four Seven. I have the photo boxes already. I need to go and grab another poster board or a foam board so I can cut that down and make more dividers. I did find, um, I did go and get some poster board so I can make the actual dividers to go in between each number. And I got some stickers, I got some circle ones for my rounds, and I got some square ones for my squares. And I'm just gonna label this round, have one bag for each number of round and then square. And I'm gonna store them all in one box. Well, I'm sure eventually it'll grow and not be one box, but have two boxes right now and I was separating them out rounds to squares and she had hers just all in one she had one bag for round one bag for square all in one container and I thought well, that's that's easy enough you can tell which ones are which because you have the different sticker for the different so anyhow I got my baggies in I wasn't able to find the foam board at the dollar store the other day, but I can at least work on the baggies and getting those done. I feel like I've missed a number or something. Oh, okay. The I was confused for a moment, sorry. This one was very full also. Let's see, should be able to get it all in here, just barely. But anyhow, that's what I'm working on after I finish kitting this project up. I'm gonna go ahead and get my, ba my bags all labeled and ready to go. And then I'll, and I'm going to go ahead and label every single number for both round and square, even if I don't have it. That way I don't have to go search for the bag whenever I do get it. My bags, when I do get it, I'll already have an empty bag in there. For right now, I'm probably going to just save one bag per color. Um, I'm going to have to, I think I'm just going to get a little a Sharpie and write the A and the 819 on there. But there we have it. Uh, they fit in there just fine. 
If I had extras that were just a little bit bigger, I would have still had three more that I could have used to put the extras in. I most of the time just put the baggie in there and refill as I empty. But there we go. If you guys have any comments, questions, or anything, please, suggestions, please make sure to leave that in the comments. I do reply to everyone. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to start on my next project and I will see y'all on the next video. Have a great day.